What you have seen this morning is a revolution. The machines were entirely designed here. And I can say, without being mistaken, that Burkina Faso is the second country in Africa to develop this technology. It's a technology that isn't being imported, it's being developed. So it's not machines paid elsewhere to be assembled here, it's designed here, and everything is done here. Burkina Faso, governed by a military regime, just opened its first mining waste processing facility in one of Africa's foremost gold-producing states. The opening ceremony took place in the Kosodo industrial area, located to the east of the capital city Ouagadougou, and was graced by Captain Ibrahim Traore, the interim military leader. Since taking power in a coup in September 2022, Traore has been focused on ensuring that Burkina Faso takes charge of its own resources. His regime has been working hard to establish a factory that will allow the country to process its own mining waste. In fact, Traore has extended an invitation to other African nations to bring their mining waste to Burkina Faso, as the country possesses the necessary technology for processing. The factory, which has been developed by local experts, aims to extract metals from the residue of the country's gold mines. This move is significant as it allows Burkina Faso to process the waste on site and have complete control over it. The factory will not only provide much needed jobs, but will also ensure that the country maximizes the value of its gold resources. In November of last year, the government led by the junta embarked on the construction of Burkina Faso's first gold refinery. This is a significant development as gold is the country's primary mineral resource. The refinery will have the capacity to produce around 400 kilograms of gold per day, which is a substantial amount. During the announcement of the refinery, Traoré emphasized the importance of refining the country's leading export domestically rather than abroad. This move will ensure that Burkina Faso retains more of the value from its gold resources and will also help to create a more diversified economy. Overall, Traoré's regime is focused on ensuring that Burkina Faso takes charge of its own resources. By establishing a factory to process mining waste and a gold refinery, the country is well on its way to achieving this goal. These developments will not only create jobs, but will also help to ensure that Burkina Faso maximizes the value of its natural resources. What are your thoughts about this move by Captain Ibrahim Traoré? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more developing stories in Africa. Turn on notifications too so you get notified whenever we upload videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.